Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're looking to buy a car, a best car that's going to give you good fuel economy and not break down on you, and that's not going to cost too much even if it does break down on you, this is the car to buy. Toyota Corolla, this is a 2011 model, doesn't matter, 2003 and all the way up, they're the best cars that I believe was made. I was, I've been trying to hunt one down, but I cannot get a good deal because nobody wants to sell. Anybody that wants to sell doesn't want to sell it for cheap or for a decent price. But anyways, this car, I did a lot of repair on it. So if you're looking to get one of these, you can do all the maintenance, all the change, uh, tune up, air filters, battery, water pump, anything, cam sensors, I got videos on everything. Good on fuel economy, I believe this thing gives like 29 miles per gallon, I'm not sure, but I believe it gives about 29, and that's amazing fuel economy right there. And the tires, some of these new cars, tires are like 300 bucks. This one, you could get a decent tire for 80 bucks, but Let's look under the hood and let's see what we got under the hood and then we'll go a little bit inside and this is something that you cannot uh, avoid. If you want to get a car, a good decent car, this is what you're going to have to look for, Toyota Corolla, even the cameras are good. So let's look under the hood first. So here it goes, nothing. And let's lift this hood open. Let's come closer. Look at that. Look at the engine. Four cylinder gas saving engine. Air filter, 10 minutes to do air and cabinet filter. Battery, I replaced it. Coolant flush, you don't even have to lift the car. You could do it from right here. I will be making videos on that. Antifreeze, heating system, great. Air AC system, great. Here's the, the lines for the AC. Washer fluid goes in there. Radiator cap right there. That's where you put the radiator fluid and the expansion tank. Not the expansion, the reservoir. Brake flush, right there. Very simple to do. But other than that, these tires, they're low, they're not low profile. They're decent. 195, 85, 15. That's the tire size. Not too expensive to get. Some of these new cars, they got a run flat tire. You get a flat tire, it's 300 bucks. You don't want that, do you? Inside, you got right here, all the tachometers right here. You got the AC and heating control, the radio, very simple. Glove box in there, you have a cabinet filter. Heating and AC is great on this car. So that's your cockpit right there. Let's take a look at the trunk. I don't know how much stuff this customer's gonna have in there, but let's take a look at the trunk. So you got a good amount of cargo space right there to pull anything you like. You could probably fit, if you was to fit three guys in there, you could throw three guys in there. But look, she got a few stuff. She got a beach chair. She got a jumper cables, a box full of stuff, and a little bit of her um, snow tools. And the trunk looks empty. It looks empty. Great. Brake. Let's talk about braking. The brakes on this car, the front, I do got videos on it. The front brake pads and rotors. The parts cost you 90 bucks. With my help, you can bang it at yourself. All right. But spark plugs, 50 bucks. Air filter, 10 bucks. 10 bucks for the cabin filter, 90 bucks for the battery. And everything is up here. And this car usually just don't break down that easy, so there's, you can't avoid it, okay? But great car to get. I would recommend it to you. Anybody that wants to get a new car, used car, this is what you have to look for, okay? Thank you for watching. I hopefully uh, gave you a little bit of determination there, a little bit of uh, uh, good hopes about this car. So if you're looking for searching for a car, this is it. And check out my channel for videos on repairs. Simple to do.